Emerald ash borer is an invasive forest pest quickly spreading across North America and devastating the ash tree population. Monitoring and early detection are important components of managing this destructive insect. This video is the second part of our video series on emerald ash borer detection trapping. Part 1, entitled How to Hang a Trap, demonstrates the proper assembly and hanging of the trap. This second video will provide a quick overview of hanging the trap and then focus on trap monitoring, takedown, and processing. We will demonstrate how to identify a potential emerald ash borer and direct you to where you can report a sighting in Ontario. Taylor Scar, Provincial Forest Entomologist, Ontario Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. These green prism traps are best hung in the canopy of an, of an ash tree, um, usually on the sunny side, so the south side is best, uh, but on the exposed side, exposed to the sun, because the insect likes to spend a lot of its time uh, on the, in the sunny part of the tree. So up in the canopy, uh, where the leaves are, not close to the trunk, but out towards the edge, but you need to hang it on a branch that's strong enough that it can hold the weight of, of the trap. Sometimes that requires cutting some branches out of the way to make a little spot for the trap to hang so that it's not swinging and, and connecting with the, uh, the branches beside it or the leaves beside it uh, because those will rub off the insects that get stuck on the trap. So I use a pole pruners or a pruning saw, cut some branches out of the way, find a nice branch that has a, a fork in it that would stop the trap from sliding up or down the, the branch and use a, a painter pole with a hook on the end uh, that attaches to uh, an R-hook that is attached to the trap. And then you use the painter pole to lift the trap up into the canopy, put the R-hook over the branch, and then it hangs there. And you come back about two weeks later and look for the insects. You can hang the traps uh, just before the beetles start to fly, which is in Ontario, usually early June. The uh, green prism traps in Canada are baited with a green leaf volatile lure that smells like the fresh green leaves of a hardwood tree. They're not specific to the smell of an ash tree, but they do increase the rate of capture. Uh, also, we use in Canada a sex pheromone lure uh, that uh, is released by the female beetle to attract the males. And by hanging the trap in the canopy where the males are looking for the females to mate, you increase the rate of tra trap capture by adding the green leaf volatile, the pheromone, and putting it in the canopy where the beetles are looking for each other. The, the traps are often deployed as part of a, a survey that uses other techniques as well, including branch sampling where branches are cut from the tree and the bark is peeled off to find the larval tunnels underneath, as well as visual surveys with binoculars and uh, ground observations looking into the trees for signs of the insect uh, attacking the tree or exit holes, showing that the beetles are in the tree. So often surveys will combine all three techniques. To check the trap to see if you've caught any emerald ash borer, it's a simple matter of reversing what you did to hang the trap. You use the painter pole with the hook on the end, you extend that up into the canopy, lift the R hook off the branch, bring it down to the ground, and spin the trap looking at each side, all three sides of the trap, very closely to see if you can spot the emerald ash borer. The, the emerald ash borer or adult beetle is about a centimeter long, and it'll be stuck into the glue on the trap. There'll be other insects that will be also stuck there, like uh, horse flies, uh, deer flies, house flies, and, and other incidental catches. And then you use a pair of tweezers to pick off the beetle, put it into a vial of alcohol or a product called Histoclear, which dissolves the glue, and then you can look at the insect once the glue is dissolved and, and confirm that it is emerald ash borer. If you have to, you go online and look at identification videos or fact sheets to identify it, or send it to an entomologist or insect specialist to determine that it is actually emerald ash borer.